make it love you. Oh my goodness, I'm going to cry a lot. <laughs> So at this time, John and Megan have written their own vows for one another, and we will get to listen to them. And I believe that Megan would like to go first. I will give you these. I'm just going to hold this out here in front, too, if you need anything here. I'm, I got you. Johnny, I get to love you. Oh my goodness, I'm going to cry a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to. Um, you came into my, not just my life, but Landon's, and you have forever changed it in ways I could have only dreamed about. Well, first, <laughs> um, I prayed for you before I ever got to call you mine. I prayed for someone to come into my life that would not just love me, but love Landon just like their own. When we started dating, I was very hesitant, hesitant to share my time that would be taken away from Landon that I would never get back, even if it was just to go on a breakfast date for an hour and a half. <laughs> when I say we are lucky to have you, I truly mean it. Every day, every moment, I'm thankful for you. You're my best friend, lover, and now my husband, whom I get to cherish for the rest of my life. 
I remember when you said to Landon, I remember when you said to me before Landon was two years old, I hope one day he will call me dad. And not only did he call you dad, but you have completely earned it. The way he looks up to you is something that I won't ever take for granted. You are our home and our safe place. You are a light on a dark day, and you are my hope when I am not so hopeful. I can't promise that it will always be sunshines and rainbows, but together I know we can handle anything life will throw our way. Loving you and Landon will be the greatest thing that I will ever do. Great. Sorry. Great. <laughs> um, okay, good thing I put this in big font. <laughs> I've always, um, I always felt like I had to have control over every situation. I might have been pretty particular with some things when we first started dating, and maybe still. Um, but thanks to you, I have, thanks to you, you have helped me take a step back and taught me it's okay to not always have control. It's okay to ask for help. Oh, my goodness. You are my safe haven, and I will always be yours. I promise to always love you without hesitation through the good and the bad. I promise to always listen, even if it's about head position for deadlifts. <laughs> I promise to laugh and to cry with you. I promise to love you through sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer. I promise to encourage you and respect you. I promise to grow with you and to walk this life right by your side. I promise to give all my effort into strengthening our, strengthening our marriage and giving you the best version of myself. Whew. Uh. I promise to have a safe home where we, our family can grow in. Whew, I promise to love you from this day forward. John, I never thought I could love like this, but here we are. Here you are. The love of my life is finally here before me. Okay. That was, that was terrific. Okay. All right, John, are you ready? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay with money. <laughs> Give me an hour. You're good, baby. Take all your time. All right. Growing up, I never pictured myself settling down, buying a house, or even getting married. But you came into my life and changed my ways. <laughs> now the special day is here. The day we stand in front of our family and friends, declaring our love for one another. I am beyond thankful and lucky since you came back into my life. I cannot believe I get to marry you, my best friend. Our story thus far has been bigger and better than I ever expected. Even bigger than your butt. <laughs> <laughs> there was no particular moment that I knew I was going to marry you. I just knew all along from when we first started talking to one another. Thank you for being so loving. Thank you for being honest and loyal. Thank you for being so sincere. Thank you for being a wonderful mother and role model to our Landon. Thank you for letting me be myself. And thank you for sliding in my DMs and making the first move. <laughs> I love you and I'm excited to enjoy this special moment with you. This is our day and we will remember it forever. I promise to grow with you, to celebrate you, and to celebrate with you. I promise to walk beside you through whatever life brings you. I promise to never go to bed angry. I promise to always listen to you, even when we both don't agree. I promise to always try and make you laugh. I promise I will try and remember not to have a full conversation with you when you wake up in the morning and you're trying to enjoy your coffee in peace. I promise to work hard, not because you deserve it, but because we both deserve it. I promise to see you when you don't feel seen. I promise to comfort you during times of happiness and times of sorrow. I promise to always pursue you, to fight for you, and to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my days. Megan, I cannot imagine this life without you. 
Being with you, I feel like the luckiest man in the world. I cannot imagine growing old with anyone else but you. So today in front of everyone here at Dwayne Bob's house, <laughs> from this day forward, I stand here and I say, for better and for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, I promise to love you for the rest of my days. Landon? Come in here, buddy. Here, stand here with your mother. Yeah, you gotta face daddy. Landon, you are the funniest, most caring, and the most loving little boy I know. You have the biggest muscles out of everyone I know. It means a lot to me that I can count on you to be goofy with me. It also means a lot to me that I can always count on you for a good laugh. Now, I wasn't there for your first steps or your first words, but I do promise to not miss anything else. I promise to be there for your first shave. I promise to be there through all the happy things and all the sad things that will happen in your life. I promise to be the best man I can be to you and your mommy. Thank you for choosing me to have sword fights with you. Thank you for letting me read you books before nap time. Thank you for allowing me to be your daddy. I love you, buddy. Okay, now that we're all wrecked. By the power vested in me by Universal Life Church Ministries, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yes! <laughs>